you respect that while at the same time maintaining your own brand, maintaining your own authority? Because if you give away with that authority, of course, you just get to anarchy. But the new consumer is key, this empowered consumer, this consumer with very specific interests, this consumer whose trust above all else and respect needs to be built. There's no reason why they should ever have that respect, that trust. It's not automatic. People are not born trusting their local bank or their local doctor or their local accountant or their local politician. Everything is about trust and respect. But it's not simply about bowing down to the consumer. As I said, I think that is a, a dangerous tendency with digital culture, to bow down to the consumer, to treat the consumer as if they are some sort of god, that they don't have problems. As, as your chief marketing officer said to me, the great challenge for you and for everybody else is making the consumer understand that with power comes responsibility. So a political thing, really. It's all very well talking about rights, and this new empowered consumer is the one who has more and more rights. But with rights comes responsibility. And the most irresponsible consumer, the consumer on the internet, for example, who steals internet content, who doesn't pay for their music or their movies, who insults other people, who is rude, who is dishonest, who steals. They're the ones who have not learned responsibilities. So if we are to develop a really mature, I think, digital culture, a really mature world in which, to quote the fictional Sean Parker from The Social Network, this place we live on, responsibility is key, is making the consumer more mature. And I think the role of large companies like Maybank in that sense is really important and relevant, is that you, it, it, it requires a kind of, um, it requires a, a, a it, it's, it's balancing stuff up. On the one hand, it's showing the consumer respect, but on the other hand, rec making them feel as if they're an adult. It's rather like parenting, I think. A good parent, and I'm speaking as a parent, probably a bad one, um, but the challenge of parenting is, of course, to empower the child sufficiently that they make responsible decisions. The responsibility of a parent is not to create slavishly obedient children, because they will never grow up. Just as the responsibility, I think, of a good parent is not to create rebels. Nobody wants to have a Steve Jobs as a child. You might want him as the CEO of Apple. I wouldn't fancy actually uh, being responsible for it. So it's, it's, it's a balancing act, responsibility and rights. And I think from, from what your, your chief marketing officer at least told me over, over lunch, you guys are doing a good job. The fact that you have a million followers on Facebook, the fact that people are engaged with their local bank, that they're interested in. And I said to him, what's your biggest challenge? And he said, learning from people outside the sector. The old, uh, what's the word? Uh, the old silos have been swept away in the digital economy. In the old world, you had silos, a financial silo, an entertainment silo, manufacturing silos. Every, the economy was made up of silos. Um, it's an important word, I think. In the industrial age, silos define the economy. Today, those silos are being swept away. And if you want to learn, if you're in marketing, if you're in learning, and I know the learning guys are the ones who are sponsoring this event, if you want to learn, don't just learn from banking. Don't dig yourself into this sector, because you won't learn enough. You can learn from reading the Jobs biography. You can learn from the example of real innovators, from Google, from Yahoo, from <coughs> Facebook. You can learn from Silicon Valley, just as no doubt Silicon Valley can learn from Maybell. So look outside your sectors, escape your silos. Just as you need to, I think, learn in, in, in terms of your jobs. In the old world, there were silos, occupations. You were in learning, you were in marketing, you were in sales, you were in engineering, you were in retail. Today, even those silos are being swept away. 
Whatever you do, you need to have the cursory knowledge of marketing. Whatever you do, you need to have some scales, sales skills. This new digital world is one where none of the old certainties, those silos, those clear boundaries, the old rules are all gone away. You've got to live in this new world. It's challenging, it's demanding, but if you do it right, it can be really exciting. If you can go from 3,000 followers on Facebook to a million in a couple of years, you've suddenly got an incredibly, if not business, you've got a viable operation. And you can learn your customers, you can learn your consumers. It's that kind of engagement shows the way in which uh, social media and this new digital world can be used intelligently. And again, it sounds like you guys are doing it a lot better than the other banks in this country who are still stuck in the old mindset. So that's enough of an advertisement for Maybank. <laughs> you probably are thinking, what has this guy been eating or drinking? Well, don't blame me. Blame your chief marketing officer. But, but, but it makes sense, and the very fact that you've invited someone like me to make this kind of speech, I think, reflects the fact that you're relatively open-minded, because I'm not a, you know, maybe I'm a kind of guru, but in, I'm not a typical digital guru. I'm not here to tell you this world is wonderful. In fact, my reputation is one, in some ways, of being more critical. So the fact that you're open to this kind of thing, I think, is, it reflects very well on your organization.